What's going on? It's Brad here with Brad's Car Mods. Great to be recording again. It's been several months uh, for me. Uh, ooh, weather's kind of gross outside, so I'm stuck in the garage. But uh, procrastination is a real thing for me. It gets the best of you, of us, you know. Um, but I got a thing uh, to install, so uh, let's talk about that. I got a track day coming up this weekend and one of the new requirements for next year I'm just getting ahead of it for this year is that uh, they require an onboard fire extinguisher of some kind um, that's a reality that's a safety measure I understand so uh, I went ahead and bought one and I'm gonna go through what it is real quick and do the install in the car it should be really simple but it's a it's an interesting thing and, and something that people should consider for sure if you're doing track days because it can help you save your car in the case of a fire and uh, maybe yourself or other people. So uh, yeah, safety. All right, so here's what I ended up going with. It's called uh, the Element Fire Extinguisher. Yeah, fire Element Fire Extinguisher. Um, it's, a, it's basically like a road flare uh, where you do a striker on the end of it and it starts shooting out um, a fire retardant material, a uh, chemical of some kind. Uh, it's supposed to work on all of these fire types. Uh, it's great for cars though or, or camping or boats or whatever because it's very small um, And I also bought uh, I'll just put this down here and I bought from them also uh, a It's a roll bar mount. There's a couple of options for mounting them in the car. You can just throw it in the glove box It's small like I said it's kind of road flourish um, But I wanted something that was uh, a little bit Easier to access for me and the passenger. That's kind of the point is that it's easy to access for for you and or a passenger and so these things are cool and small um, yes I have seen some videos where it's iffy on how well they um, operate as a fire extinguisher there's both good and video and bad videos out there uh, so take that into consideration if that's something that you're gonna look at buying but um, another option is um, kind of a small fire extinguisher bottle there's a comparison this would work as well um, it's definitely heavier for sure um, and bulkier of course but maybe more effective I don't know hopefully I never have to find out it comes with a mount already on it uh, it's just a very basic mount this would be great for in a camper or um, just in the shop here just it's just a couple of screw holes and that's all it is just a quick little snap-on mount uh, that's not something I want in my car because that could come loose I feel like uh, and the glove box is I think a terrible option it's an option but um, I feel like it's a terrible option. Plus, mounting it on the roll bar. I mean, come on, that's race car, right? That's gonna look cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mount it. Uh, I've got on the on the car here this roll bar, and I've got this diagonal uh, section here. So I'm gonna mount it on the bottom side so that while I'm in the car, I could reach backwards, of course, and just uh, pop it off of there if I needed to, uh, or from outside the car. I always race with the top down. Um, some tracks don't let you do that without arm restraints. I don't have arm restraints, but so far I've not ran into that issue at the tracks that I've been to. And so uh, anybody could come up to the car and grab it from the outside, right? So that's the option I'm going with. Um, they also have um, seat mounting options. And so I'll show you where that would go. So down here where the seat uh, mounts to the floor you can um, it'll come out and, and sit right here that's a pretty cool option too um, I like that idea but I went with a roll bar so you can see it all right let's open this package so it comes with this metal bracket that uh, will mount to the roll bar and then it's got a couple of these um, worm gear worm gear uh, brackets that go you feed that in around there and tighten that down 
and then it's got two of the clips to hold it on there and then this uh, little velcro strap here is kind of a, an extra safety in case the screws come loose or whatever it's just an extra little safety thing you can just pull that right out of the the velcro though um, just like an extra safety strap that's it when you, the, the how you use it by the way is when you and it's got instructions right on there but when you pull it off of there you pull the cap off and throw that away and then take this bottom cap off there's a striker on there and then you just strike across the top just like a road flare so it's easy 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 to use and then it shoots out um, the fire extinguishing chemical let's mount it in the car all right it just requires a little um eight millimeter well you can do the flathead but no one uses like that's i hate flathead screws uh, an eight millimeter uh, nut driver is all you need and so we'll do these it doesn't matter uh, which direction it goes so but I want it on the bottom so maybe we'll put it like that so we'll feed that through there and through there same with this one Let's go get the actual fire stick. It'll be easier to reach if I don't have to go like behind my head, I feel like. So I'm gonna slide it. Probably scratching the crap out of my bar. I think I'm just gonna go all the way at the bottom there. Like that. Yeah, all the way at the bottom and just kind of line it up. Yeah, I like that. All right, I'll go. We'll go over and tighten that down real quick. And obviously, we'll snug that guy down quite a bit. I don't want it going anywhere. But yeah, it, it certainly tightens down really nice and snug. That, that is not going utterly anywhere, uh, which is awesome. All right. Velcro strap. It's a uh, very light, grippy Velcro. So, like I said, it should be really easy to pull off of there. I'll show you. So, yeah, just feed that guy through. Just as an extra little safety measure. So, yeah, pull that off there like that. Good to go. Put the fire out. Hopefully. Hopefully there's not a fire ever. Ow. It bit my finger. Fire safety device installed. Simple as that. That is it for this video. I got a blood blister. It pinched my finger. That happens. Uh, if you like this video, give me a like. If you want to comment, put a comment in the comments and we'll talk about the element fire extinguisher. I'm curious what you think. I've seen videos good and bad about it. Uh, this is the one I went with. So hopefully I never have to use it and never have to find out. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, bradscarmods.com if you want to get yourself a t-shirt, uh, maybe a sticker or something like that. All right, till next time. See you. Hey, hey, hey.